my god, I almost missed this. Look at these squirrels. Like, they look rabid. Look at that thing. And then each of these has a nut they're gnawing on. This one's like, get away from my nut. <laughs> Look at this giant relief map, guys. This is, uh, it's the tag says 1961 school map. You remember those when the teacher would just pull the map down in the classroom? That is really cool. And you can feel like a slight texture on there. Okay, let's move on down through here. I could spend all day in here. <laughs> America's Most Wanted, the lap gang. <laughs> Here's another picture where they're not smiling. Well, she sort of is, it's like a Mona Lisa smile. I don't know what was up with that, that time period when you weren't really supposed to smile for pictures. Ooh, yes, the music room. Look, we got 45s. I sold my jukebox, unfortunately. Raka Kanga. <laughs> I bet there's a lot of awesome... All she wants to do is dance. Oh my gosh, Don Henley, Oak Ridge Boys, Peter Frampton. What's this here? The Great Gilder Sleeve. Snow White and Rose Red. Stories for children. She's quite voluptuous for a story for children. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. My god, look at this old microphone. I love this. That's an old Shure microphone. California Raisins. I remember having a California Raisins shirt in junior high, and I thought I was so cool. Look at this old record player, Panola. Yeah, look at this. It, like I said before, if you guys were looking for, like, period pieces um, to decorate an old house, or, like, what it makes me think of is the Christmas Story house. You know, they would have loved a place like this to look around and find things like what was in the movie. What the heck is this? Hunkatin, a male tone one step. What the heck is that? Bleeding hearts. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that song up. Oh my god, all right, I see Halloween. I love Halloween. Look at these jack o' lanterns over here. Trick or treat. This is an old skeleton head. That actually used to be a trick-or-treat basket that somebody made into a light. I guarantee it. I bet you anything this is made by, like, Empire or something. Uh, I can't even read it. This reminds me of, uh, of the old McDonald's ads right there, that ghost. Look at this one here. That's really cool. Let me take a look at that. I don't see a brand on there, but yeah, these these kinds of things, these are called blow molds, and these used to be made by, like, Empire and uh, Union. There's no kin like pumpkin. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on moving here. Dress shop. Look at how pink these dresses are. These are like prom dresses. <laughs> I'm probably totally wrong, and girls who are watching this are like, what are you talking about? I would never wear that to the prom. <laughs> Ooh, we got the Christmas room over here, guys. Everything's sparkly. I like this church right here. It's all wood. And it lights up. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes, the best ever. Charlie Brown Christmas, the making of a tradition. All right, how many of you guys remember the color wheel? when you had the silver aluminum tree and you'd turn on the color wheel so it would reflect on the tree and make it all kinds of different colors. A Christmas treasury of Yuletide stories and poems. Here's an old Night Before Christmas book back here. Well, here's another uh, blow mold like I was telling you guys about. Yep, there's Empire. That's the logo right there. Some of those are really hard to find and worth a lot of money. All right. Oh, maybe I was right. Look. Wedding, prom, and vintage clothing room. Ha ha, I was right about the prom dresses. <laughs> okay. 
More Christmas. Look at this. Look at this white tree here. That's really cool. There are some people who just love Christmas so much that their house is decorated for Christmas year-round. Like you see on some of those shows you watch on, I don't know, TLC and that, Christmas Wars and stuff. And these people have Christmas decorations up all year round. Harlem Globetrotters. Look, that's from 1994. World Tour. They were at Garraway High School. World Tour sponsor Burger King. I could go for a Whopper right now. And look at this. Drink Kissed Beverages. That's like a, a chalkboard. Oh my god, guys. Look at these chaps. <laughs> Buttless chaps. Leather. These are like suede. Oh my gosh. I used to have this BB gun right here. Me and my brother had it. You pull that thing back and I even remember the sound. The sound of the metal like clinking as you uh, you flip this thing down and this goes click and unlocks a buffalo. <laughs> I can't wait for the buffalo dinner in February. Red Rider. <laughs> Look at these old baseball cards. I was actually just thinking this morning, there was something on the news about a little kid who was acting like an umpire. He's all mad, and he was throwing his hat and kicking things. And and it made me think of, like, back in the day when, you know, we didn't have cell phones and, and iPads and all that stuff. And that was, like, what little boys did. You know, they listened to the, to the, uh, the baseball games, and they wanted to be a baseball player. Look at these little motorcycles. These remind me of the little ripcord motorcycles we used to get when I was a kid in the 80s. And we would take them to the church where my dad was the preacher. And uh, and we would sit down there and race them. You just pull that ripcord and it zips that tire and it goes whizz, And you set it down and it just goes whizz, across the floor. Bell telephone. Seize candies. It is a little Buddy L truck. I used to have a Buddy L truck when I was a kid. Look at this Exxon truck. Erector set. I remember playing with the Erector set at my grandma's house. I probably told this story in the last uh, video that I made here, but there was like a little motor. Not that one. I don't see it in here. Here we go. This right here. You see that little spool on the end? You plug that thing in, and then we would put something like, like one of these, or a, a shorter one, and we would put it right on the end of that little nip there. And it would start buzzing around. And the faster it went, it would go... And it would fly off. It is amazing we all still have both eyes. <laughs> right, yes, the Walmart truck with the old logo. Pink Cadillac. A Red Baron. I had a remote control Red Baron when I was a kid, but I don't think it ever really worked the way I thought it would. Oh my gosh, I had one of these too. A couch potato. Rascals, the Eagles Club. <laughs> Look at this, a great all truck. We got Firestone behind it. Pepsi. Velveeta. <laughs> That's cool. That makes me want a big block of Velveeta right now. All right, let's keep rolling here. Camel lights. Oh my gosh, I used to smoke camel wides when I was a teenager. This camel pack right here. Camel filters, brand new pack. I bet you anything, this was one that they like sent in the mail back when you could get away with that to try to hook people on smoking. You'd get the cigarettes and be like, oh, I'll try those. Next thing you know, you're hooked for life. Oh, here's the train room, guys. I remember coming in here last year. This place is so cool. We used to make, we used to build like the, uh, the train tables. We had a giant train table in my bedroom and it was N scale, which is these little ones here. It was so cool. Little electric train, and we would build, like, the, the hills and, and tunnels and stuff like that. It was so much fun. Plasticville, a gas station, barn, Cape Cod house. This stuff is so cool. I always loved making those models. Here's a foam tunnel. That would be the easy way to go about it. We used to build our own tunnels, though, with, like, clay and plaster and fake grass. Look at this Sunoco car. That's really cool. Look at this old Mark's train right here. I bet if you set this up right now, you could just watch it go. 
old tin train. That's really cool. I remember my grandma had one of these in her, in her attic. I think it was my uncle's. And we were like dying to play with it. I don't recall that she ever let us, but we wanted to. Okay, I think we got a couple more rooms here to go yet. Yeah. One in the front here. And in this room here. Corn stalks. Oh my god, that is so Ohio. <laughs> Breakfast squash homegrown produce. I like this. I like to see these these saw blades that are painted. And look at this saw right here. It's got horses on it. I got a reflection. There we go. Primitive gatherings. Crows, sheep, willows, rag balls, salt box. <laughs> look at these bees. Life is a balancing act. Look, I think this is one of these things. It's not very heavy, but I think this is one of these that you lay down in front of your, your door, like to block the draft. Look at this sign. Friends yesterday, lovers today, soulmates forever. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you could literally just spend hours in here and never see everything. Yes, look at this, guys. The old rotary phones. I haven't heard that sound for a long time. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and look at this. The pen thing, you guys remember these? Some of you young'uns won't remember this, but these were our phones before iPhones existed. <laughs> Poison Center. Oh my gosh. All right, I think this is our last room here. Look at this old baby carriage. Hello, baby. <laughs> These old ads here. Look, I think this is one of these uh, fans. Yeah, they put their advertising on the back and hand these out for days like today where it's 106 degrees. Look at this hall tree over here. There's me peeking out. Hey! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at the little flame on this. That's electric. There should be a new oh, drinking game for how many times I say that's pretty cool. Hello. Oh, you scared. <laughs> scared ya. <laughs> Never know what's here. lurking in these rooms. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. They even have the willow tree lovers. I love you. I know, but you say it a hundred times a day. All right. I'm such a dork. I gotta get out of here. Look at this. A wedding carriage pin. Little hearts on the back. Just married. The willow tree couple got married and rode in a wedding carriage. <laughs> I love these old postcards. Wait, what the heck is this? Okay. Here we go. Look at the ladies. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the dock at Clear Lake, Wassa Gaming, Riding Mountain National Park, Manitoba, Canada. Look at this, guys. Pure beaver fur hat. Beaver brand hats. I think I remember this setup here, or at least some of it. Yeah, like the bowler, the old bowler. That reminds me of the Titanic. In fact, in the last video that I did here, I put um, some Titanic sound effects. All right, I'm about ready to roll, but I just want to walk through here one more time and just count how many rooms is full of stuff. So if you're counting this one here, it's one, two, I guess would be the entryway. This is a hall, so three, Four, five, six, and this is just a long hall, which I guess could be a room, so that's seven. And then, I mean, I guess you have to call the hall a room. So this would be eight, even though it's the size of four rooms. <laughs> Nine, ten. Uh, back through there is where they're storing some stuff. We got this hall, which we'll just call 11, the entire hall. 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, and then there's, I think we've passed three potential rooms. We'll call this 18, because this is another big haul. 19, 20, that's technically 21, and 22. 22 rooms full of stuff at this place. You gotta come down here and check it out. Even if you're not a collector, this stuff is so awesome in here. There's something for everybody to see. Oh, 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 oh